Old walls, mighty churches, and Baroque splendid buildings. There are many monasteries in Germany worth seeing. In the Middle Ages, they were places of tranquility, centers of faith and power. Today, they are also museums, venues for events, and destinations for those seeking peace and quiet. The history of Corvai in North Rhine-Westphalia began with a Benedictine monastery dating from 822. Only the Carolingian Westwerk, the facade of the church facing west, remains from this period. During the Thirty Years' War, the monastery was heavily devastated and then rebuilt as a Baroque residence in 1671. Today, the ducal family of Ratibor lives here. The Protestant Augustinian Monastery in Erfurt also looks back on a long history. It is over 700 years old. Over time, the buildings of the monastery were demolished, rebuilt, converted and renovated. Nevertheless, you can still visit the historic walls and rooms where monks once prayed, high school students studied and orphans lived. In the time from 1505 to 1511, Martin Luther was also a monk here. The St. Marienthal Monastery is a Baroque Cistercian Abbey in Saxony's Upper Lusatia, near Görlitz. It is the oldest women's monastery of the order in Germany, which has existed continuously since its foundation. The nuns always invite visitors and pilgrims to silence and contemplation in the monastery church but also to guided tours, concerts, and monastery markets. Between Worms and Darmstadt, the Lorsch Monastery is located, an important center of power in the Middle Ages. Only two buildings of the Benedictine Abbey remain. The former monastery church was built more than 1,000 years ago. Opposite it is the King's Hall from the 9th century. The Cistercian Monastery of Marlbronn, 100 kilometers from Lorsch Monastery, is also included on the World Heritage List and was an important cultural and economic center in the Middle Ages. Most of the buildings, which were built between the 12th and 16th centuries, are still well preserved today. Further south is the former Cistercian Abbey Heilig Kreuztal in Upper Swabia. It was founded in 1227. Many cultural treasures are worth a visit, including great works of art from the Middle Ages. The island of Reichenau on Lake Constance. A Benedictine abbey was founded here in the 8th century. Monks brought agriculture to the island. Reichenau is still known today for its vegetable cultivation. Of the monastery complex, only the churches remain today. In 1930, the Salesians of Don Bosco acquired the Benedict Beuren Monastery in Upper Bavaria to establish a training center for the next generation of monks, a youth hostel and a youth recreation center. The former Benedictine monastery was founded in 725 and rebuilt in the 17th and 18th centuries in the Baroque style. At an altitude of 870 meters, in the Amagar Alps, you will find the Benedictine Monastery et Tal. Founded in 1330 with its mighty basilica, today more than 30 monks live here. There is also a boarding school, a grammar school, and various monastery businesses. 
finally, the Andex Monastery near Munich. It is perched on the holy mountain on the eastern shore of the Amazé Lake. The Benedictine Abbey is a popular destination for excursions, as there is a brewery and a monastery tavern here.